This is about the my medical tourism experiences, I think. Like that would be the basis narrative. And from that, I use those medical tourism experiences as public platform to talk about the serious issues at hand, which is the objectification of women and uh, the, the, the equalization of women with motherhood. And also, well, yeah, the, the problematization of the bodily capabilities of women, basically. That would be kind of the general bigger, those would be the general bigger questions. Because the issues that I'm raising and the, question, uh, the, the questions that I'm trying to ask are uh, serious in their own uh, sense. They're very uh, morally and ethically complicated, well, morally and ethically charged. So if the issues are serious, then at least I think that if I approach them with a, in an easier manner, then it's easier to digest them. So yeah, to ease the discussion into the serious matters. So yeah, that's why the comical approach. That question assumes that it's kind of like something radical. For me, it is obviously something that I am like ready to do and not as radical as some people might think. So it's just like the, the way how we think about the operations is different. Because I don't think that I like suffer through much. The first one, the sterilization, was something that I just like wanted for myself. And obviously, I like immediately understood that that can be used for art as well. So, and the, yeah, that's just. And how I'm anaplasty, well, I thought that's kind of like fun and like stupid to do, so. There's a difference how it is in the Baltic state, there's a difference how it is in between the Baltic states between Latvia and Estonia. And I think that everyone knows that Estonia is like the better one of uh, the three countries, but then again, there's a difference how it's in London, then it would be a difference how it is in like uh, not Europe, uh, Western European countries. But then again, I would say that the, the, my problem is that there's already the binary division between men and women that we think only in those terms. I would want to also just destroy the binary division because there's the intersex, there's the gender non-binary and all of those. So it's just like if we approach all the feminist issues just focusing on the like, oh yeah, women have to be empowered and just forgetting about all the other differences, then we're just basically still um, legitimizing the, the binary division, which is the problem of problem why the, the, the binary division, like where, why the inequality still persists as well. My goal is for the Estonians to be able to start some discussions that might be needed because I think that's, I'm pretty, yeah, that those are relevant here as well. So that would be my goal to maybe encourage something that needs to be encouraged here as well. If everybody like thinks that, oh yeah, this is great, you should like continue doing this, like, oh yeah, like this is great, like women should not be forced to have, be mothers, whatever, then, then like the, the, those are like that already perfect, you know, that those are already fine, those people. But then like I kind of, my goal would be to reach those people who think that it's kind of problematic. And then I would hope that they would just try to think about why they think it's problematic. Now, because it is all about those implications, because either like if you think that like, yes, women are equal, but no, like women cannot not want to have have children then already there's like there's a uh, problem that those clash so they, I would hope that they would try to understand why they clash that they would realize those problems so well, yeah just uh, yeah trying to people think about these things that usually are taken for granted or not discussed because they're sensitive